All right. Hello, everyone. Hope you're having a great week so far. I'm going to give just a couple of more tips about using JWM. Um, perhaps you would like to have another quick launcher down here on your bottom panel. And if you're like me, and you're probably not, <laughs> I prefer having light colored GTK windows but I prefer a dark panel. So I'm going to show how we can accomplish that and let's just go ahead and dive into it. So first of all we're going to add a quick launcher down here on our bottom panel and we'll add Firefox. Okay. So the first thing we want to do let's open up our file manager and the reason I'm doing this first is I want to get the file path to the icon. So file system root, I'm going to click on file system root and go to user share icons. There it is. And I want to use papyrus and 22 by 22. All right, so that's what we need or we can go ahead and click on apps. That'll give us a little bit more of our file path there. Next thing we want to do, we're going to open up our JWMRC file, uh, <laughs> JWMRC file. And we're going to come down, just scroll down. Here we go. Tray button. Now you can search for tray button just to get there a little bit quicker if you want to. All right, here are my tray buttons over here on the left hand side. Um, all of these right here. So what I want to do is I want to put a quick launcher. You can put it anywhere in here you want. I'm going to put it right next to the menu launcher over here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy all this right here. That's my menu launcher down here on the bottom. So I'm going to copy the one below it. Oh, let me increase the size so you can see it better. I'm sorry. I'm going to go to 18 this time. I'm going to cover the full screen. Oop. No, don't want to do that. There we go. Okay. Let me go back down here and find it again. Oh, I was already there. <laughs> okay. All right. Here are the tray buttons, once again, over here on the left. So what I want to do, I want to keep my menu launcher over here on the far left and I'm going to put Firefox right there next to it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to come down one below the launcher for the menu. I'm going to copy that. Come up back to this item right here and put a space and paste it in there. Okay, now we need to change this icon path right here. So what we have, we're going to copy this icon path. And we're going to paste it in here. In between the quotation marks. But we have one more thing we need to do right here next to the word apps. Let's put another backslash and put firefox.svg. And now we need to change the execute, this right here. So the easy way to do that may not be easy to you, but it's easy to me. <laughs> Just back, keep going back until you get to user share and come up here to 
applications. And I already have Firefox ESR installed. So what I want to do is right click on that and open it with my text editor. Scroll down and find the execute line. And there's the execute line. And the execute is user lib Firefox ESR Firefox ESR percent U. But you don't want that percent U in there. You just want to stop at that second Firefox ESR. So I'm going to copy that. I'm going to change right here what it says X X <laughs> colon PC Man FM. I'm going to highlight PC Man FM and paste in the executable for Firefox ESR. Okay, so let's save that. I'm just going to minimize that because we're going to come back to it. Close those. And now I'm going to restart. Uh, JWM and hope I don't lose my recording. So let's just go ahead and do that. I'm going to do it from this right here. Looks like we're still recording. Oh dear, I didn't get my wallpaper back. Let me try it from this. Okay. That is what the refresh wallpaper or reload wallpaper is for. So there we go. And as you see, we have our, down here on the panel, we have the Firefox launcher. So let's click on it just, uh, just to see if it'll work. And it works. It worked twice. <laughs> JWM is so fast, you have to be careful about how uh, you click on things. <laughs> All right, we got that settled. Now, of course, you can use that for any kind of uh, application launcher you want to use it for. Next thing we want to do, as I mentioned, I enjoy having a light colored GTK theme, but I prefer a dark panel. So, what we're going to do, let me show hidden files again. First thing I'm going to do is open this JWMRC. That's the one we're using right now. And I'm going to, I'm going to try to resize this so that you guys can see what I'm doing. Okay. Change the font size again. 18. All right, as you see here, I'm using the Deepen JWM theme. And what I want to do is I want to add a, the Deepen Dark panel. And whether I will use the Deepen Dark menus or not, I'm not sure. I will. I'll make that decision as we move along. <laughs> okay, so let's go up to in your home folder dot config uh, JWM themes and deep and dark. And let's open that with our text editor. And once again, we need to resize this. I'm going to close the file manager. We'll resize that to 18 so you can see. And what I want to do, I want to go down. Now I know there's not much screen space here, and I know it's probably not easy to see, but we're going to program groups. We're almost there. All right. Now you can search for visual styles if you want to, or just visual, 
you should be able to find it that way if you want to search for it. Now I want to keep, I, this is my original down here on the bottom. I want to keep my original window style. That's the light colored GTK themes. Tray style. Now this is the one we want, okay? This will change the color of the bottom panel. Let's scroll on down. Pager style. I want to change that. Menu style. Eh. I think I'm going to keep my light colored menus. Pop up style. That's for things like when you hover over the date down here. That's the pop up style, what pops up there. Okay. So I'm going to copy and paste the pager style, everything under that, and the tray style, everything under that. Okay. So I come right here to the last part of pager style and just hold my mouse down until I get to the top there at tray style. I'm going to copy that and now I'm going to find it here on the one that we're using. We're almost there. There's tray style and pager style. All right, so I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to highlight all of that and paste it in there. I'm going to save it. I'm going to close this one. I'm just going to minimize this because I might want to uh, maybe make the opacity of the uh, panel a little, a little more opaque. I'm less opaque. All right, we saved that. Now let's open up our menu and restart JWM. And there we go. We have our dark panel. The menu. Okay, there's one thing here I need to change. If you see, you can barely see this menu launcher. So let me change that. Tray button. All right, that's the menu launcher. So I'm going to change that to start here. I'm going to remove that number two. Save it. And restart. And I don't know what just happened. Oh, I did the wrong one. I thought I closed that second one, but I guess I didn't. All right. Start here. Remove the two. <laughs> you got it going on, Dan. You can do it. <laughs> Save it. And restart. There we go. <laughs> that Dan guy doesn't know what he's doing. <laughs> Okay, now let's see here. I might want to change the opacity of this panel just a little bit, not much. So let's do that real quick. Where is it? Not window style, tray style, opacity. Let's change that to a 0.8. Now you have to have PyCom running for this to take effect. Let's see. And let's restart JWM. And I can't tell if that's less opaque or not. Let's try a point just to see if it's working or not. Point 0.5. Yeah, 
that works. It's working. It was just hard to tell. Point 0.8 didn't hardly do anything. But you can see it's a lot less obvious. It, it almost kind of bleeds in. But you'd have to go in here and change the opacity of different things if because what that did it just changed the opacity of everything on the bottom tray okay I'm going to change that back to point let's see point eight didn't show let's do point seven okay save it restart JWM There we go. That's a little better. So there you go. That's how you can add launchers to the panel down here if you want to. You don't have to. If you want to remove launchers, just remove them from the JWMRC file. And how to change. You see I still have a white menu. White menu. And of course if I wanted a dark menu, I could just copy and paste that from the deepen dark JWMRC file into this one. So there you go. Just another few little tips to maybe help you if you wanted to kind of change things around and make things a little more like you like them. I hope it helped and you guys have a great week. Oh, I have one more thing. An announcement. I am no longer Captain Dan. I'm not going to go deep into it. Uh, I had some vital disagreements with the direction of the company I was working for and I have resigned and I'm no longer a boat pilot. So I just wanted to let you guys know that and I enjoyed it while it lasted. I wish it could continue to last but Sometimes you just have to stand up for your, uh, for what you believe in, and that's what I've done. <laughs> I just don't. I just hope I don't go down with the ship. <laughs> oh, I'll be fine. All right, you guys have a great rest of the week, and take care. Thanks a lot.